What's up guys, how's it going? Um, so, today we have some sniping gameplay. And before I start, I just want to thank everyone again for subscribing to me and uh, getting me to a thousand subs. It really does mean a lot to me, and I had a good night's sleep last night just knowing that a thousand people liked me. <laughs> but uh, let's stop talking about my feelings and get on to the game. Uh, so we're actually sniping this game. Um, I, I, I've started sniping a lot more since the last patch, but... Before that patch came out, there really wasn't a useful... Like, sniping was terrible. There there was no reason you should uh, use a sniper rifle instead of any sort of assault rifle or anything. Um, but yeah, they, they recently fixed sniping in the last patch. I don't really know if fixed is the right word, but they uh, made sniper rifles a little bit better. I guess we'll wait to find out if uh, they're actually fixed. But since that patch, I decided to pull out a sniper rifle. Before we start uh, talking about snipers in general, let's talk about the PSG-1. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Hutch and Blame Truth both made a video talking about that gun. Um, basically, the PSG-1, which is the uh, last sniper rifle you get, um, that gun without an attachment uh, performs the exact same as an L96, like in damage. It has the exact same damage modifiers. And what that means is uh, a bullet to the lower belly or up is going to be a one-hit kill. And if you throw an attachment on the uh, PSG-1, then it's going to have to be an upper chest shot or above to get a kill. So if you're going to use the uh, PSG-1, throw it on with no attachments. But uh, I'm probably not going to use that gun too much. I'd rather use the L96, uh, just for preference reason reasons. Uh, just like why I'd rather use the Intervention more than the uh, Barrett 50 cal in Modern Warfare 2. I just It sounds a lot cooler when you shoot this gun, and I like the whole bolt action part. Um... It's not that I think the PSG one's overpowered now. It's just I like the whole bolt action and using this gun. It looks a lot cooler too. Um, but yeah, let's talk about sniping now. Um, they brought back qu you can't really quick scope in, in in this game yet, but you can still quickly snipe people. Um, which is what I'm doing here. And right here we're just playing some domination and defending C and B. And this is the uh, best spot in my opinion to be on the map on jungle. Uh, cause you can watch both C and B from this part. I throw a motion sensor at my back cause motion sensors are kind of overpowered. Cause really, who's gonna run Hacker Pro just to get past those motion sensors? And my kill gets stolen by an attack helicopter. Um, but yeah, I just have a motion sensor watching my back while I sit here and guard both B and C. And I'm actually gonna fast forward, or not fast forward, I'm just gonna skip uh, my chopper gunner gunship parts cause... It's not really that fun to watch Chopper Gunner Gunship. I don't want to sit here and ramble on for three and a half minutes while you watch my kill streaks kill a lot of people. Because uh, this is a sniping gameplay, not watch my kill streaks get a lot of kills gameplay. Um, but yeah, when when I get sniping gameplay, I, I'm usually gonna record the live gameplay and not go back to theater mode. Because when you theater mode sniping gameplay, it looks all weird and off. And I see this guy's coming up behind me, so I snipe him. And normally, uh, if people are close like that, I'll take the uh, first shot with the sniper rifle and then pull out my magnum right after. Because I don't trust my sniping enough to actually hit the guy. And uh, I'd, I'd say the uh, speed loader revolver is probably the best secondary to have. I know I think Hutch uses the extended mag CZ-75. I think that's what it's called. Um, that's not a bad choice, but the revolver takes uh, two bolts to kill close range and... The uh, CZ takes three bullets to kill. That's without the uh, fully automatic attachment, because then it would take four bullets to kill. Um, so I, I definitely prefer the revolver a lot more, because those two bullet kills are a lot more helpful. Um, ugh, it's cold in my house right now. Sorry. Or, oh yeah, I think somebody thought I was Canadian, because I said sorry like that. But I said it like that, because um, if any of you guys played Fable 1... Uh, whenever the guy apologized, and for some reason you could apologize like at the most stupid things, like you rob a bank and all you have to do is apologize, and the guards are like, "Don't let it happen again," and it doesn't make much sense. But uh, whenever he apologized, he always like waved his hands and said "sorry," and that's why I said "sorry" like that. I'm not Canadian, and I don't plan on being. Um, but let's talk about sniping a little bit more. So yeah, right there, I kind of just ran from the situation because I had a sniper rifle and a revolver. And I had no bullets left in my revolver, so I was like, let's get out of here. So I just ran, and it kept me alive, so good for me. And this firefight's a little too close, so I didn't even bother taking a sniper shot before I pulled out my, my revolver. 
Um, it turns out, though, I didn't even need the uh, uh, revolver because that guy wasn't moving. He was completely oblivious to me being behind him. And uh, normally, ghost is my most hated perk. I, I hate when people run ghost, but I'm actually running it for the sniper rifle class because that's kind of what snipers are supposed to be. They're supposed to be ghosts who attack whenever they choose to. Um, so I just don't want to be seen by UAVs when I have a sniper because I'm already disabled enough by using a sniper rifle. So let's try to get some advantage, and that little advantage is ghost. But I hate people who have ghosts and sit in corners or have ghosts and run around with AK-74U suppressors. That kind of makes me upset. But we're not going to get into a ghost debate right now. Um, what other perks am I using? I guess just like, there's there isn't really any like sniper rifle perks, because sleight of hand doesn't affect the sniper. Or well, sleight of hand pro, you can still reload. <laughs> right there, I just get a nice random guesstimated shot through the herns. Um, but this is actually going to be the end of the gameplay, guys, because I just go on a banana tear with the kill streaks. so if you like this video or if you like my sniper gameplay, uh, please feel free to can't talk my throat is very parched if you like this video please feel free to give the video a like rating and I love you guys very much and I'll see you guys later